What's up, guys? DK here. Welcome to Teachable Tuesday. It is officially <laughs> the 12th. I had to look. It's the 12th of November. Hope you guys are fired up. We're going to dive in in just a second here. So obviously, if you're watching the replay over at TeachableTuesdayReplays.com, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And also ring the bell, get notified anytime we're uploading new content here, which is every single week. Now, let's let everybody in and let's get started. Here we go, my friends. All right, boom, let's get going. Admit all. All righty, my friends, here we go, here we go, here we go. It is officially time to get teachable and all that good stuff. So if you would, go ahead and pop a comment in the chat and uh, let me know where you guys are tuning in from. I'm fired up. I hope you're fired up. And uh, we're going to be diving into social media today and hopefully... I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks that are going to help you guys uh, build and grow your following, which ultimately will transition into more video views, more leads, and more sales. These are things that I have been applying. Um, and again, kind of everything that we share with you, we don't just kind of give it to you on a whim. Everything that we give to you guys is something that we've tested and tried ourselves. So obviously it's proven it works and we have the documentation to back it up so hopefully you guys are fired up and excited and ready to roll also i want to say before we get going here thank you guys for all the comments um dropping those in there let me know where you guys are tuning in from a lot of you guys here from the states which is cool i guess uh no surprise due to the uh time frame here but Every now and then we get some overseas guys popping in here, which is always awesome to see. Um, before we get started, I want to talk a little bit about uh, a meeting that myself and Bill and Kirsty had earlier today. And for those of you guys that don't know, I'll give you guys a little kind of behind the scenes here. Um, we have a little tra uh, chat on Facebook and kind of call ourselves like the trio because there's obviously three of us. And, you know, we're kind of the ones that are basically running the you know the funnel team so to speak and and we've all been together for literally two years now so it's obviously been a, a really really awesome awesome working relationship and it's been a lot of fun and it's just been really exciting to see where we've come from what we've built and obviously today the meeting we had was really about where we're going and specifically you know where we're going in 2024 and I gotta tell you it was, you know, we met for two hours today and went over a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. And I got to tell you, you know, when we roll out certain things, like when we rolled out the app, we were really excited, uh, obviously, because what the app can do and what the app has done for you guys and what the app is. I mean, it, the cool part here, guys, is we haven't even scratched the surface of what the app is is capable of. Um, we've only really just what we're, what you guys are using right now is basically just like the outer shell. We haven't re really even gotten into a lot of the cool features, the technical features that the app can do that we can do to serve you guys, to get you guys more information, all of that sort of stuff. And so we we're talking about really where we were going in 2024. So as an example, like when we rolled out the app, we were really excited when we rolled out the all-in-one funnel, we were really excited. When we rolled out the side hustle funnel, we were really excited. And I got to tell you, what we're working on right now, I haven't been this excited in a very, very long time. So as we look out into 2024, and I'm not going to give you a date because it's still in the infancy stage and we're still kind of getting started with it, but the ideas and the flow and what is kind of what we're working on for 2024, especially in the very beginning of 2024, uh, all I can tell you is don't go anywhere. Okay. Don't go anywhere because we're planning some really, really, really awesome things. And all three of us are very, very, very excited for what's to come. We're going to do our very, very best for you to constantly reinvent ourselves to find new and best and the best ways to give you guys training, education, and everything that you need to get out there in this world and go win. And that's really what it's all about. So as we look out to 2024, uh, we're going to be bringing obviously some 
uh, some new training into the mix. We're going to be bringing some new funnels into the mix, which is already kind of in the works. And obviously we're going to have some events coming up and you guys know about one of them, but there's another event uh, that we uh, were working on today that you guys are not aware of uh, that we will be letting you guys know, hopefully sooner than later. Um, and this is an event that, um, well, you know what, I'll just, I'll just leave it at that. We're working on multiple events uh, coming up in the new year. So there's a lot of things that we're working on behind the scenes that we're all to, you know, collectively extremely excited about. So again, you guys are in an awesome, awesome, awesome place. Don't go anywhere. It's a, uh, it's an awesome, awesome time to be here. And as we always say, and it's hundred percent true, it's just going to get better and better and better. So that being said, uh, let's dive into tonight's training. So with our training method, with our training style, we obviously teach you guys how to get out there and go use social media platforms like, you know, whether it be YouTube or TikTok or Insta or Facebook Reels, whatever, to get out there, go create content and drive traffic to your landing page, generate a lead, close a sale, right? And we have all this training inside our team training site. And I am going to... uh let you guys know that I'm on the very tail end of a cold. So I came down with a massive, massive head cold last week. Um, you know, came down on like Wednesday night. I was sick all Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, started to feel a little bit better yesterday, feeling a little bit better today. So if I, you know, sneeze or pause or cough or whatever, it's, you know, it's all good. You know, we're just <laughs> doing what we got to do. But anyway, um, I can still feel, I can feel myself like getting stuffed up the more I talk here. Uh, cause I haven't, I haven't really been talking all that much, um, over the last few days. So this is probably the most I've spoken besides the meeting earlier today with, uh, Kirstie and Bill, but with all of our platforms, one of the best and easiest platforms, or let, let's just put it this way. One of the most user-friendly platforms to use to really get your business up and off the ground is TikTok. That's where I've seen the majority of you be able to generate leads and sales in probably the easiest way. And I'm not saying like, you know, oh, it's super easy, but like it's the most user-friendly compared to say Facebook or YouTube or Instagram. Now, some of you guys have had really great success over on Insta. Some of you guys have had good success on YouTube. Some of you guys have, uh, you know, have absolutely killed it over on, uh, over on Facebook. But on average, the majority of you guys that I've seen have some really great success have done it over on TikTok. So I'm going to give, I'm going to share with you guys, obviously I'm going to share with you guys a document. I'm going to give this to you at the end of the night. So no worries. You're going to get access to what I share with you, but plain and simple, we're going to do a little bit of a, a TikTok deep dive today. And this is a little bit of a refresher because the last time I did a TikTok training, it was very specific towards certain things. And tonight it's also going to be specific towards certain things. I'm going to refresh and recap some of the things that I went over in the past, but you need to realize that TikTok, in my opinion, um, TikTok is kind of like the gateway to finding success on social media. Again, when you look at the law of averages, it's the easiest platform, the most user-friendly platform to get started with right now when you're producing content with the intent of generating leads and sales, right? So as an example, like, let me ask you guys, what is what is the platform when you guys are posting content, when you guys are out there working your business, what is the platform that you gravitate towards? Comment that below. I know certain folks will, will go towards YouTube. Certain folks will go towards Insta. Many of you guys will go towards uh, TikTok. What do you guys feel is the most you know, user-friendly platform that you guys gravitate towards, right? And yeah, certainly some Instagram comments coming in, you know, of course, um, you got folks like Catherine who just absolutely smash it on Instagram. For me, like I suck at Instagram. Like I was good about six years ago and then it just kind of faded off after that. But um, I would say the majority of the folks that are on our team um, are rocking it over on TikTok, okay? Now for me, YouTube has always been a strength for me, um, but I've also found that TikTok is very much a strength for me. And I kind of use them as a go-between where I'll start everything on TikTok and then I drive people to 
my YouTube channel, and then I close the sales from there. So with that being said, I'm going to share my screen here. We're going to dive right in, and I'm going to try to keep tonight's training as, as close to short and sweet as I can and try to obviously deliver you guys as much value. So what we're going to dive into here is obviously some TikTok basics. And this is based on the fact that over the last probably two months or so, I've been really playing and experimenting and toying with different ways to grow on TikTok, different ways to get more engagement, different ways to get more views, different ways to get more leads and sales, all of those things. And with that, I'm going to share a lot of that with you guys here tonight. So obviously make sure you guys pay attention, make sure you guys don't have any distractions around you and you guys can follow along with uh, what I'm seeing here. So first thing we're going to talk about is some, some daily basics. Now I want to, I'll get to this, but I'm going to, I'm going to kind of circle around this point multiple, multiple times. There's really one specific thing when it comes to mastering the TikTok algorithm. And you're going to hear this a lot, especially if you follow certain creators, uh, certain marketers and stuff like that over on TikTok. Mastering the TikTok algorithm, it you can you can go down such a deep, dark, long rabbit hole that you'll never come out, right? And I'll I'll even give you some examples tonight of exactly what I'm talking about here because certain creators will say, oh, no, no, you got to do this. You got to do this. You got to do this. And other creators will tell you that you got to do the exact opposite. So it's like, who do you listen to? I'm trying to give you guys the data based on what I've personally experienced myself, okay? So again, kind of real life time-tested data, okay? So first and foremost, hashtags. There's a lot of emphasis, especially when you're getting started. What hashtags do I use? What are the best hashtags? All of that other stuff. And I've boiled it all the way down to this. Three hashtags. When you're filling out your, you know, the spot where you put the hashtags, which I'll show you guys this in a minute here, okay? You don't need a plethora of hashtags. I see some people posting and they have like, 50 to 60 hashtags. It's like, that's just, it's overkill. It's not helping you. Okay. So three specific hashtags, one relevant to the video that you're making. And I'll circle back to what I mean by the video that you're making. We're going to dive deep into that. Two, one that's relevant to you, who you are. And the third one that's relevant to your niche. Some people say niche. It's actually pronounced niche. Okay. So one relevant to the video, if you're doing a video on making money online, you could use a hashtag that is around that area. Now I will urge you on the side of caution. I've heard rumors. I haven't really seen it. It's all been rumors, but I've heard other content creators saying that TikTok is, you know, coming down on people that are promoting make money online. But Personally, I still see a whole ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of creators stating and talking about make money online. They have it right in their profile, right in their bio, you know, and they're still, you know, killing it with tens of thousands of views and hundreds of thousands of followers. So I haven't seen any of that stuff sort of change. I think if they were really cracking down on it, some of that stuff would start to change. So again, unless it's right in front of our face, I wouldn't really worry about it. So one one thing that we t- can uh, you can use a hashtag for is okay relevant to the video itself. So if you're making something on you know escaping the nine to five, no no boss lifestyle, you know no nine to five or anything that's like make money from home, make money online, uh, network marketing, any of that sort of stuff, use a hashtag that's relevant to that to the video itself. And then a hashtag that's relevant to you. So who are you? What do you do? What are you trying to become? That sort of thing. So a hashtag that's relevant to you. As an example, one of the hashtags that I used for a long time was Boston Entrepreneur because at the time I was an entrepreneur living in Boston. So who am I? I'm a Boston Entrepreneur. That was a hashtag that I used just as an example. Um, 
I'll give you an, another example for uh, Kirstie. She uses a hashtag uh, Colorado moms. You know, that is relevant specifically to her. Okay. So find a hashtag that could be relevant to you. It could be you and your business, you and your lifestyle, you and your wants and desires, you as a person, as an individual, whatever it is, find something relevant to you. Relevant to your niche, make money online, network marketing, uh, digital marketing, make money from home, that type of stuff. So you could do hashtag earn income online, hashtag earn income from home. I would probably stay away, stay away from the monster hashtags. What do I mean by that? Hashtags that have multi-million or billions of views, those hashtags are not going to help you unless you are a creator that has millions of followers. If you're a beginning creator, like most of us are, uh, you know, you want to use hashtags that have, um, exactly, just like in the comments there, you want to use hashtags that have under a million views. So, you know, 50,000, 100,000, 500,000, 300,000. Those hashtags are more likely to help you versus the ones that have billions. Those are not going to help you. They're just not. I mean, it might be cool. Like if you, as an example, like if you put hashtag FYP, which is the for you page, I mean, the, the thing has multiple billion uses. Using the hashtag FYP does not help you in a single bit. It's, it's a waste of typing it, right? Because it's just, you're lost in a sea of billions of people and you're just a little weeny, tiny creator, uh, you know, trying to generate leads and sales. It's just not going to help you. Where if you were to use something like, you know, if you're a mom and you live in Colorado and that hashtag only has, you know, 150,000 views and you're a Colorado mom, hashtag Colorado moms, that hashtag is much more likely to help you versus not help you. Does that make sense, guys, when it comes to hashtags? So three hashtags, comment makes sense. So three hashtags. That's really all you need when you're getting your video out there, okay? Now, continue to follow the four. These are all basics, guys, daily things that you should be doing every single day, okay? Now, the basic formula formula does not change. You always, always, always want to follow the formula, hook, build up, present value, call to action. That doesn't change. That is right in our team training site. Okay, so just kind of more of a reminder. Uh, so as we're talking about that and the whole taking action process, um, making sure you guys know and understand that, that's right here in the Fast Start Guide under short form video formula. You guys can go get all that information there if you need to. Uh, if you're thinking like, oh, what formula is he talking about right in fast start guide part two. Okay. Now this is really important. This might seem really, really basic, but it is very, very important. Good lighting. You should have good lighting when you make your videos, making videos outside. Very, very helpful. If you can do it, if you're in a space where, you know, especially this time of year, if it's not too cold, if you can make a video outside, especially if you're walking and moving around and you have a changing background, those are, those types of things will help and assist your video versus, you know, not help and assist your video. So if you can get outside and record your video, try to do that. If you're going to be inside again, uh, just make sure you have good lighting. Okay. Um, so for me, one of the things I'll give you guys an example, let me unshare here for a second. So for me, um, you guys may have noticed like the little purple doodads I have behind me here. That's just, that's what's called accent lighting. It's just meant to create a little bit of contrast, but here you can see, like, if I hold my hands out here, you can see the natural light coming onto my hands because I have two light tents that are right over here. These are two by two, uh, light tents. I got them on Amazon. Uh, the two of them combined were like maybe 80 bucks or something like that. But man, I love this lighting. I absolutely love this lighting. It's clear. It's crisp. When I use this, it's it's one of those things that I'm going to geek out on you here for a second. And I'm totally okay with that. When I got this lighting compared to my old lighting, let me actually show you my old lighting. Okay. This is, this is real. Okay. These are my old lights right here. This is what I was using. These are little clip-on desk lamps that I was using before. And this lighting was okay. It did the job for many, many years. 
I bought these on Amazon for like 20 bucks a piece. And it did the job for a couple of years. And then I graduated. I wanted to get better at my craft. I wanted to have better lighting so I could create better content. And when I got this lighting right here, after I set up the light tents and I put everything on and I saw how clear and crisp and everything was in my video, it drove me to want to create more and better content. Something as simple as like lighting. I want you to think about this here for a second. Something as simple as getting better lighting motivated me to want to create more and better content. So just think about that for a little second. When you invest in you, it could be a book. It could be an audio that you listen to. It could be lighting for your business, a microphone. And it's the same thing with this microphone. This microphone cost me $180 five years ago. And it was worth every freaking penny and then some. I've recorded webinars on this microphone that made me $16,000 in one day. So like, was that worth the investment? Uh, F yeah, it was. So like when you invest into you, it's an amazing return on investment. Investing into yourselves is one of the only places that you can guarantee a positive return. I'll say that again. When you invest into yourself, it's one of the only places you can guarantee yourself a positive return. So even something as simple as lighting can have a big impact on your business. And I know that sounds weird, maybe really weird, maybe simple. Maybe some of you guys get it. Hopefully all of you do. But that for me was like, wow, this lighting is awesome. Let's go shoot a video. You know, like it was one of those things. So it's just little stuff like that, guys. Okay, so let me go back to share my screen here. So have good lighting. Chop out the bookends, all right? This is really important too. I'll open, I'm gonna share my phone here in a little bit, guys, and I'm gonna walk you guys through some of what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna open up TikTok. I'm gonna open up uh, CapCut, stuff like that. And, you know, we're, we're gonna look at some of these things, but chop out the bookends. How many of you guys know what that means? When I say chop out the bookends, what does that, what does that mean to you, right? What does chop out the bookends mean? Okay. Yeah. And some of you guys are saying like, oh, my lighting sucks. Like do something about it. You know what I mean? Like do something if you can. I mean, to the best of your ability, like get better lighting. Um, so what does it mean? Yeah. So empty spaces, right? Yeah. No space in the, um, basically what it means, chop out the bookends means dead space dead space, right? So I'm going to show you guys exactly what that looks like. And it's important. And I'll walk you guys through this process. Okay. So you guys know and understand that that's really important when you're putting your video, chopping out the bookends. Isn't just TikTok though. This is every social platform. All right. But again, I'm going to, I'm going to walk you guys through this. Okay. This is where we're going to dive into something newer that we haven't gone over before. This is where I want you guys to pay attention. So after posting your call, actually, you know what? Let me jump down here. Let's, let's hang on one second here. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to delete that out and come down here. Boop, boop. All right. Now different order categorizing your videos. This is something that I can confirm 100% absolutely helps your videos on TikTok. is you want to work on categorizing your videos, meaning what does this mean? I've heard a lot of stuff about TikTok and SEO. SEO, how many people here know what SEO is? Could be SEO when it comes to Google, SEO when it comes to TikTok. What specifically is SEO? What is that short for? Yep, there you go. Search engine optimization. Otherwise known as when someone is searching on any platform, for a particular piece of content. When you use SEO, you help optimize the search engine so they're more likely to find your stuff. It's essentially what it means, okay? You're helping the search engine find your stuff when people go to look for the type of video that you are making. So yes, put in keywords. So 
do a little bit of research before you make your video. This is really, really important, which I have that in there. Um, then based on your research, you're going to, you know what? Let me see if I can actually, this will be a, a whole lot easier if I could pull this up on my phone. Uh, um, give me just a second here, guys. I'm going to try to pull this up on my phone. So instead of telling you guys all this, then going over my phone, then coming back, I'm going to see if I can pull this up on my phone. So that way, yeah, that doesn't really, uh, you know what? That'll work. All right. So let me try this. Let me try this. This will work. This way I can tell you and show you at the same time. All right, there we go. Wait for it. Stand by. All right, can you guys see my phone? Just give me a thumbs up if you guys can see my phone here. All right, cool. So now we're just looking at, we're looking at the same exact document that we were just, I was sharing with you, but it's just on my phone versus uh, on my desktop. Okay. So what we were talking about before was right here, which is do your research before you make your video. So what does that look like? All right. So if I were to go over to TikTok, right. And if you're going to search, you're going to be here on the main section, right? So I'm going to go over to the search area. So as an example, if I was going to go look up, right? Uh, if I was going to go look up, what do we want to talk? We'll look up network marketing, right? Just as an example, I'll type in network marketing. So I'm going to research network marketing and where you guys want to be. Unfortunately, hang on one second. Let me see if I can. All right. Let me mute that. Can you guys still hear me? You mean, yeah. Can you guys still hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. I had to mute my computer because I was getting the sound was playing back here. So when I type in, let's look at this right here. Okay. When I type in network marketing, you can see it up here. This is the first keyword, network marketing. But what you got to realize is down here, See all these other keywords where it says also searched for? These specifically are the other keywords that you're looking for. So like what to post daily in network marketing. So I could make a video, network marketing is a little bit broad, but if I wanted to make a video specifically about what to post daily network marketing, I could tap on that. And then you'll see if I scroll down again, there's even more when people search for that specific, those specific keywords, what to post daily in network marketing. So you have how to succeed, you have how to recruit, you have how, you know, start network marketing, um, passive income network marketing, rich network marketing lifestyle. How does network marketing work? Network marketing versus pyramid scheme, those type of things. So just to give you guys some ideas of other keywords. So let's say you wanted to make a video specifically about how to succeed in network marketing. This is the keywords that we're talking about. So when I say, do some research, <clears throat> excuse me, do some research before you create your video. So as an example, if I'm here, we're doing the research. We just found some keywords that we wanna use, how to succeed in network marketing, okay? Now what we're gonna do, if you're looking now, now we can just kind of follow this right down the line here, right? So now say we want to shoot a video and we want to use the keywords and we want to have the theme in the video, how to succeed in network marketing. Hey, I know a great way you could succeed in network marketing. You have something called uh, the funnel team and a done for you system and pre done for you funnels and all the email marketing done for you and all this other stuff. So you don't have to worry about creating all that stuff on your own. It's already done for you. All you gotta do is follow along, get plugged in and get started. Um, so you start your video off the first maximum five seconds of your video within zero to five seconds. You should be mentioning those keywords. Okay. Makes sense so far, everybody that makes sense so far. So you're going to be using those keywords in the first few seconds of your video. 
What does that do? That helps SEO, search engine optimization. That helps the algorithm recognize your video that you're falling into these categories, right? Then you can also title the video when you're editing the video, okay? You can also be using those exact keywords in the title of your video because most videos, as an example, if we were to come back here. So as an example, here's a perfect, perfect, perfect example of exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So I did the same exact exercise that we are talking about right now. Same exact exercise, ranking videos for specific keywords. Whose videos are coming up in this search? You guys recognize that guy? I didn't plan this. It just actually happened to happen, okay? But the point is, what I'm telling you is accurate because if you got, do you guys see right here? Do you guys see the keywords that I'm using in my freaking video? Like, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. So specifically, when someone goes to search what to post daily in network marketing, when someone goes to search those keywords, whose videos are they going to find? Mine. Now, the question is, do you want them to find your videos? Yes or no? Like, do you want them to find your videos? I mean, it's it's a simple question, you know? So like, this is, this is like literally, I'm, I'm glad I happened to stumble across this, but this is exactly what I'm talking about, okay? So you're gonna do a little bit, re little bit of research before you actually go and shoot your video. What keywords do you wanna use? Now, network marketing was just an example. You could do make money online, earn income online, whatever sort of niche drill down specific thing you wanna shoot your video on, do a little bit of research first. So, and again, you're going to use those keywords in your video. You're going to use those keywords in the first five seconds. Okay. Then what we're going to do is you're going to use those. Okay. Let me grab my drawing tool here again. You're going to use those keywords in the text on your video. You're going to use the keywords in the text on your video. So what do I mean by that? By that? What does that actually look like? So I'm going to come over here to... I'm going to come over to my drafts and you got to see, let me see if I can find it here. Um, one of these videos right here. Um, you can see I have it hidden. Uh, you could probably barely even see it down here, but I shrunk it and I have it hidden down. I'll see if I can actually pull it up. If I pull it up, you guys see all those keywords now? You guys see all those keywords? Does that make sense? I did a little bit of research. All those keywords that I just shared with you that when I search network marketing, all those other keywords and phrases I grabbed, let me show you the, let me show you the easiest way to grab those. Um, you can actually copy and paste these. It's easier to do on desktop, but um, you want to basically like copy and paste all of those keywords. So these keywords that you guys are seeing right here on your screen, when I'm kind of waving around at you, shrink them down and I slide them down pretty much off the video. But according to TikTok and how TikTok works is those video, uh, those keywords are now associated with this video. Okay. The keywords are now associated with this video because not only do I, <laughs> excuse me, not only do I um, speak those keywords in the video, but I also have them on the video itself. Okay. Does that make sense so far guys? Every, does that make sense? If that makes sense, comment makes sense. So I want to make sure I'm coming in loud and clear. here. So I'm going to save that as a draft. So in other words, like what you're going to want to do is when you're here, you're essentially going to, you're going to copy these keywords right here. You're literally just going to copy these you know, the same, the same keyword that you search for and also the keywords that are searched for in addition to the keywords that you're using. And then you're going to take these, copy them, and then paste them right onto your video, which is really, really simple. So as an example, if I come back over here, if I come back over here and I were to add text, add text to the video, 
that's where I would paste all of those keywords, right? Then I would shrink them down and hide them. Okay. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do. It's just, you got to go through it a couple of times, get in the habit of doing it. Now I'll show you one really quick shortcut. What I like to do is I have on a notepad on my phone, I have all of those keywords saved. Simple, easy, right? So anytime I need these, I don't have to try to copy them off of TikTok. I literally just go over to my notepad and I copy them here, copy, and I just go right back over to TikTok and I were to literally paste them in there just like that. Okay, so simple, easy. And then what I like to do is I like to change it to black. It's easier, it's, it's kind of, you don't notice as much when it's black versus when it's white and then shrink it down, pull it off screen. Simple as that. Okay. So that's what I, Oh, whoa. What happened here? I lost my phone. Stand by. Why is that paused? Hang on one second, guys. I lost my screen share for some reason. Let me try this again. Is loading. There we go. All right. See my phone again? Thumbs up if you can. Yep. See my phone? Okay, good. So that's what I'm talking about right here where it says, oops, where it says use those keywords on your video, shrink it down, then hide it. That's literally what that looks like. So that's really important and helps categorize your videos, okay? So that's the whole point where right at the top of this, where it says categorizing your videos, let me show you another place where that comes into play, okay? So this is what I mean by categorizing your videos. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, let me see if I can um, find a specific video that has this, okay? so. Here's a video that I posted yesterday. So if you look at the very, very top of the screen, okay, this is this is where this comes into play. Up here, this video is categorized as a marketing video. Now, it's not really niche specific like network marketing or digital marketing, affiliate marketing, whatever, but the video is categorized in marketing. So it means when other people are scrolling in any sort of marketing videos, digital marketing, network marketing, whatever, they may run across my video because my video is categorized towards online marketing, okay? If my video wasn't categorized, if I didn't have, and I know you can't see them, but down here on my video hidden off screen is those marketing keywords, the same marketing keywords that I just shared with you. So it means the video is categorized and again, when it comes to SEO, search engine optimization, it's going to get my video more attention versus not having the video categorized. Okay. So hope this stuff makes sense. Hope you guys are smelling what I'm stepping in, picking up what I'm putting down, catching what I'm throwing. Okay. Pretty simple stuff. Now, after your video, after you post your video, this is import some important stuff right here. Okay. And I went over this. A couple of weeks ago, I don't know if it was a Mindset Monday or Focus Friday, but I went over this stuff here. So after you post your video, you're going to kind of go do the same exact thing. You're going to go search videos that are in your niche. Eventually, they will just show up on your For You page. But after you post your video, so let's say you make your video, you chop out the bookends, you do all that good fun stuff, you post your video, all right? Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go search videos that are specifically in your niche. So if I come back over here and look at this, I just put what to post daily in network marketing. So I'm gonna go here. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going through these videos, okay? And what I'm gonna start doing is I'm gonna start engaging on these videos because these videos are specifically related to my niche. These are the same type, <clears throat> sorry. Same type of creators, same type of people that are, you know, doing the same thing as me. So if you're looking to grow and expand your network and your audience, and to get rid of the moisture under our bed, you want to do it with people that are 
kind of have the same goals and aspirations as you. So you go to these videos. There's one. You're going to go engage on these videos. You know, I'm just going to, you know, just that right there. But you're going to start scrolling through these videos, right? This person's a side hustle coach right here. You could, um, I'll just put, ha, great video. You can engage, you can be positive, you can be controversial, you can be whatever you want, but you're just going to start scrolling through videos. See how she has, look at this. See how she has her video up here categorized? Social media, uh, social media manager, probably course is what it is. Anyway, that's that's good categorizing right there. Uh, she has that drilled down pretty good. So anyway, that's, what, that's my whole point is you're scrolling through people in a similar niche. You're, ca you're commenting on their videos. And you want to do this for about five to 10 minutes after you post your video. Okay. You're going to do this for about, I said 10 to 15, but close enough, five, 10, 15 minutes after you post your video, just stay in the app, comment, engage, like on other videos that are in your niche. What is that going to do? That is going to get more people to like and engage in your content. That's going to get more people that are in your same niche, our niche, over to your channel. And it's going to get the followers that you're going to attract by doing this are followers that are much more likely to engage in your content and become a lead and a sale over time because we're in the same niche. So again, hope that makes sense. Okay. Hope that makes sense. So that for me, these, these two practices here, have really helped me not just gain followers, but really gain specific and precise followers. Because again, another thing that I found on TikTok is you could do a lot more with less followers versus, at least for me, something like other platforms where I can have way more followers, but I get way less leads and sales. I generate more leads and sales from TikTok with way less followers because it's a much more engaged following. Hope that makes sense. Okay. Now, other little notes right here, and I'm going to share CapCut here in a minute, guys, and talk to you guys about uh, chopping out the bookends. Okay. Really important to understand that. So one quick tip, which I strongly, strongly suggest, if you guys have a thousand followers or more, I also strongly suggest going yeah. live and doing this on a, on a consistent okay. basis. So posting your video yeah. and then going live. Um, we've talked about this numerous times. We have trainings on this over on teachable Tuesday replays.com. I also have trainings on this on our team training site. If you guys look at the TikTok deep dive, we even give you guys, I think um, the document and the flow of what you should talk about when you do go live. So if you're like, well, what do I say? What do I talk about? We have that in our training. Okay. But going live again, 100% helps jumpstart and boost the algorithm after you post your video. Okay. So really, really good stuff right there. And also for those of you guys that are comfortable with it, TikTok, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but TikTok keeps expanding their video length. I remember mm -hmm. when... I first got on TikTok years ago, you could do up to one minute videos. Then you could do up to three minute videos, then up to five minute videos. And now you could do up to 10 minute videos. Plain and simple, TikTok wants to keep you and other people on their platform. So don't be afraid. I'm not saying you have to create longer pieces of content, but if you do create longer pieces of content, meaning like longer than a minute, that's what TikTok wants. You're playing within their wheelhouse. TikTok wants to keep more people watching more of their videos and on their platform. So don't be afraid to create longer pieces of content. Okay. So that's that. Now, let me jump over to, um, let me jump over to TikTok here. I'm oh, sorry, CapCut. So I'm going to go over here, go over to CapCut. Let me go find an older video. Do, 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 do. Let's see here. Which video is this? Okay. So 
chopping out the bookends. I want to make sure we're all on the same page here. And this goes back to, if we go over our document here specifically, let me get rid of that. Specifically in some of the basics, when I talked about this, chopping out the bookends or the dead space. One of the easiest ways to do that is after you record your video, upload your video into CapCut. And CapCut is what we choose on. You could do this in TikTok as well, but it works just as well over in, um, over in CapCut. So what I like to do is once I upload my video here, I like to turn on the captions. I do auto captions. And I'll even give you guys another little juicy hint here. One of the captions that I really love using lately is this one right here. So I'll open this up if you guys want to see what captions I specifically use, because I think it just, it when you look at these captions in the video, okay, you can see them right here. It just real they really just pop. In my opinion, they really just pop off the screen. I saw a couple of other creators using these captions and I was like, man, what are those? And I found out what they were and that's what I'm showing you guys right here. But um, how you find those captions is when you put your video in here, okay? You're gonna go to hit auto captions. You can see it down here at the bottom. You're gonna hit auto captions. And when you do, you're gonna scroll all the way over specifically to this one right here, okay? This is the one that you're looking for. That right there. It's not actually titled anything specific, but obviously you guys can come back and reference this video. Um, that is the one that I use. And specifically, I go in and I change the font. So the original font, if you tap on font right there, get rid of that stuff. The original font is, I don't even know how you say that. Bebesnu. Sound good, right? Bebesnu. <laughs> anyway. Um, and I change it to this one here, Sunday masthead. I don't know who comes up with these titles. I really don't know, but Sunday masthead. That's, that's this one right here for me. It just, it just pops. I just like it. It's just a cool, it's a really cool, really cool font. So anyway, chopping out the bookends, what does that look like? How do you do it when you're in cap cut? If I were to make, see if I can make this original video, when you put your captions in, you're going to notice dead space and you can see the dead space. It's going to be a little tough to tell, but you can see the dead space right here. So in other words, before the caption starts, this little space right here, before the caption starts right there, that little dead space before that starts, there's like a little bit of a pause. And what I do is I just tap and I drag that over to line up with the caption. And it's the same thing. <laughs> If I were to scroll and find, let's see if I can, there's not a lot of dead space in here because I'm, when I go to record, I'm actually pretty good at it at this point. <laughs> I've been doing it for a while, but yeah. Okay. So you see right here, um, let's just pretend that that's dead space. <laughs> I actually extended this too far, but you're going to know when you put the captions in there. Because you're going to see, with, especially this is really helpful when you do the captions, you're going to see this dead space right here. In other words, where you're pausing, you're saying, hey, uh, um, hey, guys, uh, Daniel here. Like you want to hey, chop that shit out. You want to get rid of that stuff and you want to get right to your hook, especially in the beginning of the video. So you just tap on that section and you drag over to right where the caption ends and you close the gap and you get rid of that dead space. So as an example, and like in the beginning of the video, if there was a ton of space here where I was like setting up my camera, or I was fumbling with the camera or I was like, Hey, um, Hey guys, uh, are you interested in making money online? I would get rid of all that. Hey, uh, Daniel here. And I would just chop it all the way up to, are you interested in making money online? So that's what it means to chop out the bookends. Basically just means to get rid of dead space. Okay. So that is the gist of kind of going over this stuff right here. And let me just unshare. I'm going to go back to the desktop and make sure that I got all this stuff right here. Okay. Not now. Boom. 
So also let me grab this document for you guys. I'm going to, I'm going to pop this down into uh, the comment field here. So you guys have that as well. Um, but those are, those are some basics that you guys should be applying literally in every single video that you're doing. Categorizing your videos. This is really, really important. More and more and more and more creators uh, are starting to do this. It really does help get your video noticed more uh, when you're doing this. So again, do a little bit of research before you record your video or even if you're not doing research, know what specific keywords that you want to use in your video. So when you say your video, you start your video, you record, those specific keywords are going to be right in the beginning of your video. They're going to be right in the first five seconds. Okay. That way, when you also put the keywords and you type the text on your video and you shrink it down, that's going to help you. It can also help if you use some of those keywords in your hashtags as well. Okay. But categorizing your video, this is something that we have not talked about before. Something that you guys definitely want to do after posting. This is something that I brought up in a mindset Monday or focus Friday. I don't even remember where it was, but uh, I brought it up as a quick tip. And I know some of you guys talked about uh, a few days later or like a week later, some of you guys talked about that you actually started to do this and it was helping grow your following. Um, so again, these are things that I've tested myself and I can verify they definitely do work. So make sure you guys are applying this stuff because it's only going to help you guys, right? So let me go ahead and share this with you guys down in the chat, okay? Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. All right, there's the doc from tonight. You guys can go grab onto that. And obviously, if you guys catch uh, the replay over at teachabletuesdayreplays.com. And sometimes, yes, it does amaze me, but uh, some of you guys will reach out to me <laughs> after being here for months and be like, hey, do we have replays for our trainings? I'm like, really? <laughs> so all of our trainings have replays, mindsetmondayreplays.com, teachabletuesdayreplays.com, focusfridayreplays.com. That's where you guys can find all of our replays. So tonight's training, obviously, will be at teachabletuesdayreplays.com. Maybe tonight, if not at the latest, by tomorrow morning. So as always, too, one last note, guys, if you would, uh, please make sure that you guys get on over to our Facebook group, as always, and go drop some feedback on what you guys learned from tonight. I'm going to pop this onto the document itself so you guys have that. I'm also going to pop this into the Zoom chat here. Okay. And this isn't just for you. I want you guys to realize like how important it is. Um, it's not just about you going and posting and saying, Hey, great training tonight. I learned X, Y, Z. It's also for the future you, for people that you bring in for other people on our team to realize and understand the importance of these trainings. Like we don't just do these cause it's fun and cool. And you learn something new. Yay. Like this is, you know, here on a consistent basis to help you guys build and grow, to help our future team build and grow. So uh, please make sure you guys go and take advantage of that. And also I'm going to leave that on uh, tonight's document here too. So let me put this down here now as well. Don't forget to leave feedback here. Okay. So that is it for tonight, my friend. That is it. Hope you guys got as much value as possible from tonight. And please, 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 please. Implementation, guys, is everything. Get out there and please go apply what I shared with you because it will make an impact in your business. It does work. It does help. It's verified. I've been doing it for quite a while. So get out there and go apply the stuff. And other than that, my friends, keep crushing it as much as possible. And please, Keep moving forward every single day because we have an awesome, awesome, awesome 2024 headed your way. And I'm just telling you guys right now, and I've said this before, and it sounds a cliche, but I really don't care because it is the truth, is that we are just scratching the surface of what we're going to accomplish as the funnel team. So don't go anywhere. Keep rocking it. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. And we'll see you guys real soon. Take care.